recently went to the Prague Fringe, and one of the problems is translating the word mumbo jumbo into Czech. Because <laughs> <laughs> there isn't a, uh, an, an exact equivalent. In fact, the closest is Hovedina. And when you translate that back into English, it roughly translates as bullshit. <laughs> and I was a little bit worried that people weren't going to buy tickets for a show called Twonky's Bullshit Hotel. And, and how right I was. <laughs> Well, would anyone like to meet Sandy? Yeah. Uh, he's a little bit nervous, but I've been drinking quite heavily bef before the show. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite drink is brandy. Um, now, he can identify which brandy I've been drinking by smelling my breath. <laughs> now, will it be Cavossier, Heron Martel, Fish Eagle, Belle de Brillet, Sandpiper, Napoleon's Nest, or the Irish brandy, Hennessy? Well, let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> It's the Grenadier. <laughs> well, it's not the Grenadier, Sandy. It's the Irish brandy, Hennessy. So it's back to the shooting range for Sandy. <laughs> Witness the miracle. The birth of Pinocchio. A squeeze box ballerina. the characters who inhabit the Mumbo Jumbo Hotel. <laughs> this is Clive. He's the, the manager. Now, if anything was to happen to him, ownership of the hotel would be passed on to his sister, drunk Welsh Anne. And, <laughs> and over here, we've got the maid. And she doesn't really do anything. Or does she? <laughs> right at the top there, you can see um, the face, this is the face of a, a drunk, violent baby. <laughs> and, uh, this baby was recently um, driving a sports car off a cliff, smoking a cigar <laughs> in, uh, in a drunken stupor. Now, I don't blame society. I blame sorcery. <laughs> and to a lesser extent, the Third Reich. <laughs> to know exactly what's going on inside the hotel right now. Yeah. There you can see barman Roy Oaks at your service. Oops, the accountant's been poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the guy from Frankie and Benny's. <laughs> now, he's come round for a meeting with the assistant manager about the idea of demolishing the Mumbo Jumbo Hotel <laughs> Um, to make way for a retail park and a Frankie and Benny's. <laughs> now, yeah, it's an unpopular move. I don't know if you're aware, Frankie and Benny's is not an American company. It was um, set up in Basingstoke. And I know this because I've had Americans in, and they wouldn't eat that shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> there you go. Now, Mystic David can warp and deform time. It can make it seem like this show never happened at all. But, oh, his powers are weak. <laughs> and that means we're going to have to live with these memories. <laughs> 
for the rest of our lives. In a Frankie and Benny's on the wrong side of town. Cat window, oh! She's got head scarves on her windows. She's got windows on her head scarves. Just like to show me, the things and Jesus got me thinking, got me thinking, got 